The nuts on tour, rolling in the motor home, moving town to town, never feel alone. Well, good morning. As you can see, it's uh, trying to be a bright and sunny day today, so hopefully Saturday today will be a, uh, a nice sunny day and uh, everybody will enjoy the show. Just got in, it's literally 9.31, so uh, we'll turn round and do a little walk down. So on this side we've got Camper, Premier, Camper UK Premier Service and Mark II, there we go, have a little wave, Mark II Bikes. There we go. Electric and non-electric, I think. All electric. All electric. Ah, there you go. All electric. So if you're looking for an electric bike. Good quality, three-year warranty. I don't know if you can hear that. Good quality and a three-year warranty on them. Can't be bad. If you're looking to a bike, you're looking for a bike, just inside the entrance on the left-hand side on the first corner. Next along, we've got Coupland's The Leisure Family. They've got the selection of Swift, Coachman and Adria. And then back to this side, there you are, Camper UK. And they've got some nice vans here. Carthago, a Carthago Chic Plus S. Carthago Chic E-Line I, it's a four, I-48 model, it's a 2009 4.25 tonne, 47,000 mile and that is up for the nice price of £5 short of 54,000. Pop out step as you go in. And it's in a nice velour, yeah, a, a light brown velour. You have a drop down bed at the front, yeah, drop down bed at the front, so you don't have the cupboards at the front. It's on a Fiat, it's roughly the same layout on the dash as our deathless. There you go, AC unit all the usual bits and pieces it's on a manual it's a six-speed manual round table no nights in here though <laughs> nights of the round table yeah nice finish on just pan that up a bit uh, nice finish on all the cupboards oh sprung nice nice and deep there you go and then little shelves underneath there's your forward facing seats just back from there there is a step up and you have pan that back down there you are you have sink tap and I think that's either fresh water or soap I think it's actually filtered water that one next along you've got your three burner hob and then under that you've got your drawers yeah drawers to that side and same four drawers to this side and then just behind is it on either side no just single side so you've got fridge that's it One fridge freezer and then above that similar to ours you've got Above that, you've got your cooker. Looking aft from there, 
you have EB style so you've got two single beds with the infill that makes into makes it into a double down below you have there you are so you can see down below you have nice roomy cupboard under that side and if we shut that side up and open this side up in this side oh that's it that's through to the double floor that side you've got a long hanging rail hanging rail above and that goes all the way down yeah very nice car there you go layout uh, above the bed you've got six six cupboard units two on each side two at the back and two little alcoves and then in here Good morning. You have a rather large shower. Uh, now this is undo that. So that's it in position as a basin, toilet, and shower, like that. And then you close that one across, like so and you have it as a shower unit that just closes across and there's your shower and then your your door you've got a, a door that comes round here so everything doesn't get wet well thought out brilliant use of space like that i'll just put the i'll just put the uh, snap clip back on at the top and then yeah Make sure that's not held back anywhere. So looking from the back, that's your view forward with your bed up, your driving seats, your dining area and your kitchen. And if I come and turn round, the view to the back with your shower on that side and in there you have another long hanging rail wardrobe and I presume that is your yeah that's your pull round door to shut everything off at night there you go so back in there very nice layout ideal for a Ideal for a couple, but very nice for a family of four as well. Lovely van. Next up, they have also on the Camper UK site, they have a Burstner Elegance 821G. Yeah, diesel, 2.3 metres wide, transverse bed, right hand drive, four berth. Uh, length 8.86. So uh, she's a bit long, uh, just look at engine size, three litre, yeah it's a three litre, so, and the price on this one, five pounds short of 62,000. Have to be quick with this because of the music, so there's your garage, nice big garage, lots of tie down points, and then stepping in you've got step, and all in cream leather, very nice. Oblong table. Large, well, seating for at least four on that side and at least another three on this side. Probably get 10 round the table all in all. There's your driving position. It's uh, on a Fiat, the three litre Fiat not sure i think this one will be the six speed automatic rather than the nine and then you have the drop down bed above going down the port side you've got these cupboards into your kitchen nice chamfered top all done all nice and smooth yeah takes all the sharp corners away you have split sink 
So you've got sink on that side and either a prep area or you lift it up a drainer area on that side. So looking back from there you've got the toilet and wash basin on this side with the obligatory mirror. Warning. There are. Yeah. Warning. And then not very not very wide but plenty deep enough for toilet rolls and yeah bottles of shampoo and all the other bits and pieces we take with us uh, a Dometic rather than a Thetford toilet it's a Dometic toilet in this one two steps up and then the crawling bed the Aldi heating and central heating and then on this side you have the obligatory shower Plenty of room, I'm six foot two, and yes, I'm not touching the roof, so there's plenty of room for someone six foot two ish. There's the level tank for the Aldi and your aerial fuse box, and then below that, you've got below that, you've got three drawers, and then stepping back into the kitchen. In the kitchen, you have Decent sized fridge, again, a, uh, a Dometic, sort of domestic, a Dometic domestic style fridge. Not quite level, it's a self closing door. <laughs> and then on top, the grill, that's more of a, that's more of a eye height that my wife would like at that level. So, if you to the front and if I turn around and do a view to the back so if you uh, if you want to see more there you go if you want to see more you can uh, come along and it's on the uh, it's on the camper UK site as I said it's five pounds short of £62,000. So here we are at the FSMC stand looking at this Frankia 8400 QD Platen. I must admit this is the exact same bus or same model that we looked at before we bought Jenny. Was 227 731 just shy of 2, uh, 228,000 show price now reduced to 205,000 full lot of spares total options pack 24 and a half thousand pounds but this comes with like four solar panels on your roof it's got the three kilowatt inverter there's up into your stairs look at look at the thickness of that floor no problem with the insulation these things are built to use all year round yeah, this is in the grey leather there you go drop down bed at the top there's your driving position this is on the Mercedes you look down you've got your Mercedes control wheel with all your yeah, you look at that. It's like a Formula One steering wheel with everything on it. Cruise control, volume control, radio control, you name it. AC unit and a very large, very large uh, media centre, I think you call it. There you go. Lovely comfy seats. I can see that. They are the other air ride seats, the same model seats that we've got in Jenny. This is the split and folding table. You, uh, you open up the two sides and the little piece there, I can't do it one handed, but the little piece there slides up so you can actually sit eight people around the table. The table extends and you can have eight people eat comfortably around the table. Slide that up and there are the blinds down. There's your cupboards. push button nice and deep and tall 
plenty of room in there for all your all your bits and pieces with a nice lip on the front to stop things sliding out like that Frankie is there you go you can just about see that Frankie is lollipop lighting we do like those and then into your kitchen area in your kitchen area you've got standard 240 volt plugs plus USB little shelf there and if I'm not mistaken these can actually yeah these that way up I think that way up yeah there you go the the sink unit fits in there and gives you extra storage and there you go nice deep sink plenty of room in there for washing everything including the baby who uh, misses turn that one over and put that one back and I think that's your yeah that's your waste bin just hidden away nicely under there dual fuel cooker so you've got gas and electric underneath that you've got grill and underneath that you've got a decent sized oven very very nice this is one of the vans I'm going to say I love this to bits we really really did like these on this side you've got your draw units one for your cutlery yeah all soft clothes yeah it's an external shower plate because there's the external shower <laughs> and deep one at the bottom yeah little cupboard underneath there and then further back you have we like double drained double drained shower tray so it doesn't matter if you're not quite level it will drain from either side your shower board is actually backlit same as ours brilliant and you have LED lighting around the roof vent in the top I just pan the camera up so you can see that there you go very nice very swish doors on either side and then going backwards you have don't know if that would actually count as a larder you don't know if that would count as a larder unit or uh, part of your part of your bedroom bedroom storage and then same on that one below underneath the bed you have more storage again yeah, more storage under there and then just round the corner Aldi wet central heating so you've got a Aldi heated towel rail sliding doors here sliding doors just here so they close off to sh sh shut your bed off and then a couple of steps up a little a couple of steps up either side and then your seat and your wardrobe I'll just, just pop open your wardrobe door there you are nicely lit and you can see your Aldi heating system with pink fluid in it shut your door and that turns your light out and your raise and lower bed that raises and lowers up electronically two cupboards above and then on the other side similar wardrobe and a television point something I like is you shut you shut that door across like that your toilet door shut the two sliding doors off and you have the changing room ensuite bathroom so you've got your toilet your wash basin and another heated towel rail and look at that lots and lots good morning lots and lots there we are of storage space storage behind each one of the three sets of mirrors there you go plenty of room in there to hide all the bits and pieces you need to hide in your bathroom very 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 nice van on this side you have <laughs> there you go built-in coffee maker yeah 
So that comes out on its little shelf. Yeah, so you can make your coffee. Nespresso coffee. It doesn't have to be a Nespresso, but I believe that comes with it. And then more shelf area and space underneath it. Must admit, I do like that. You know I'm a coffee fiend. The double opening fridge freezer, Dometic. So you have a fridge below. Again, domestic size, not a little fridge. Fridge freezer by Dometic. Either opening, so you can open them either way. And then above. Above you have another pull out larder unit. And this is as if you hadn't got enough space already. A microwave and more space above the microwave. There is enough space in this for a definite, I don't know about a family of four, a family of six in here, no problem. There's your Frankier wine glasses in the cupboard. I'll not open to open the door because the uh, lid on this is open at the moment. But, uh, there's your control center with your, I think that one, that one is for you. I think that one's for your bed. No, that one's your bed up and down. That one's your front blinds. And then you've got your, your water, your heating, your Aldi central heating, uh, your power coming in. Very, very nice. If I just drop that down, there you go. That's your, your drinks cabinet. Yeah, on a little catch. And then at the front, uh, Alpha Tronics TV on a bracket so you can spin that out. And then your lights and your step controls. So when you come in, you put your steps in and out. And right there at the bottom is, there you go, your self-leveling. An awful, awful, awful lot of van. And is that yeah and then underneath you have your shoe cupboard really well thought out really well executed lovely piece of kit absolutely and here we are back on the rs motorhomes stand uh, behind me here is the rs elysian elysian yeah, I'll turn the camera around so you can have a quick look at the spec sheet. There's the spec sheet. This one is a 2019 with large garage covering just 18,000 miles from new. It's had one owner. The downside is that's the price, just shy of £195,000. But this is a absolute beast of a vehicle. There you go. I like little touches like you've got lights above your door but you also have lights so you can see into your garage and that garage wow there is definitely enough room for there for everything including two dogs two kids the kitchen sink and the bikes that is huge that's one of the biggest garages i think i've seen apart from on the other side we have this one which actually has, yep, it has its own smart car in the garage. So on this one, the two ramps come down, the, the whole back of the vehicle lifts up. There you go, the whole back of the vehicle lifts up. So you can get in and out of your car, the side door lifts up, and at the front, it's attached with a winch. So you put your car down, you put your ramps down, and then you winch it in. What a brilliant idea. American style hydraulic lift steps. There is, yes, it's like climbing up to the gods. Because of the double floor and all the space underneath, the locker space underneath, this is high up. So you're going up and up and up some more. So in this you have a crawling bed at the front yeah there you go that is i would say at least the size of a queen 
least the size of a queen bed with a roof light at the front there is a seat there is u-shaped seating here but the middle seat there actually comes out so that you can get through and get into your cab it's on a daff I will ask the gentleman what the weight is but uh, I guess this is definitely going to well I know for a fact it's definitely going to be on an HGV so that's your kitchen area you've got cupboard here not sure what's in this one there you are shelf space in there and the table and then cupboards drawers sorry drawers here and they're all yeah they're all soft clothes of course they are I think that's a pull out unit pull out unit under there give you more space and then a Thetford four burner cooker domestic style cooker with grill and then underneath that a full-size oven yeah room in there for your Sunday roast on the other side you've got another four cupboards uh, nice I think I think this is Corian I believe it's Corian yeah but a lovely deep sink plenty of room in there for washing up and then on the other side we have not sure if this is a yeah freezer drawer at the bottom or a chiller drawer if they call it that and then fridge with a freezer compartment at the top Thetford and above that more storage oh, I don't pan the camera up and above that more storage above moving further aft you have definitely love that hello sink moving further aft into your ensuite I think you'd call this one you've got your sink in the middle with cupboard units underneath and then just here you have a slide off door so you can there you go with the door shut you've got your kitchen area if you open the door you've then got your bathroom en suite area oh very swish look at that that is absolutely gorgeous yeah you've got a lovely picture mirror there heated towel rail mirror this side which is a cupboard behind it hide all your bits and pieces in there cupboard below the sink and then a shower on that side quite a large shower on that side very very nice steps up either side now they are quite high steps those but uh, steps up either side little little spaces either side of there you can put shoes and stuff in and then you are up to what looks to me like a full-size queen bed shelves either side cupboards pan the camera up a bit cupboards along there and then you this side you have drawer and cupboard I shall just open these so you can have a look so yeah you have drawer and wardrobe above on the, each side and yes they are soft clothes the whole of the bed lifts up not sure exactly why there's not a deal under there and then up here you've got a Avtex TV and said for night time 
for night time your doors shut across so you've got a bedroom behind solid shutting doors that yes they actually I get the camera to go up high enough yeah the doors actually lock so you can lock your bedroom doors I'm not sure if that's just for uh, traveling purposes or what you, you don't want your kids bursting in on you and it's large double floor just pan that down a second yeah very large double floor and as you can see they're locked too locked into your floor what an absolute piece of kit so the spec sheet on that with car VAT qualifying it's a 2021 RS Evolution 7 with lift up rear garage house smart car perfect for European traveling built on a DAF LF 260 31 foot long it's a 6.7 litre cc engine automatic it's 8.6 ton that's the kicker you need to have an HGV license but other than that one amazing piece of kit yours for the bargain price 275,000 but that you could seriously live in there you go Euro 6 engine one amazing piece of kit um, this is the sun-dried tomato basil and black pepper cheddar for one of a kind flavor kids children call it the pizza cheese we can stick this on a cheese on toast it's the cheese on toast version of a bruschetta it's gorgeous that's mm. nice and then we'll come and get some off you when we we'll walk so around they have. and then we're not carrying it all day but yeah it, it will, will. We will come back. there's always a chance a couple of flavors may go yeah. it's always there? it's always worth me mentioning Cramp. but you can Cramp. purchase it now to Cramp. collect later with your, your name on it it's just that pickled onion is very low all right good afternoon i've just got the camera out the back of the vehicle i'm now trying to sort it out so it can see the ground so i can't see it but that's hopefully looking at all the vehicles that are parked in this section a bit wobbly there's a lot here there's still a lot here actually at the moment they don't leave till tomorrow a lot of them Hopefully I'm capturing it. I'm not 100% sure. Well, hope you enjoyed that. That was Saturday. Oh, it is Saturday, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's been a long day already. <laughs> Shall we do that again? <laughs> I kept thinking it was Sunday, but hey ho. We'll do that again. No, we won't. I'll put this in. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> right. Look at a couple of vans. Uh, some cheese. Went and bought some more buns. Didn't That one didn't make the cut. That's going on tomorrow's. Mm -hmm. But uh, bought some more of the buns that I bought yesterday from... Fa oh, corner fa Lush. We had three of those. I think Bev enjoyed hers as well. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, I think Bev enjoyed hers as well. They were very, very nice, weren't they, Lady Nut? Yes, yes, yes. A lot of calories, though, I should imagine. Yes, Lady Nut had the big chocolate one with the Toblerone on the top. <gasps> the Toblerone's still in the fridge, isn't it? Yes, you you struggled a bit with that. It's a lot of chocolate. Uh, yeah, too much. Yeah. Too much. Very, very nice. Cut it in half and make it last over. Two days. Three weeks. <laughs> yes. The sun has come out today. The old solar panel, the uh, the old eco floor is there. I'll just have a check. The lady not to hold that. It's working away. Uh, Where? Oh the... yeah. It's at ninety six percent at the moment, so uh, that's good. 
people walk past them. Little girls up there, yes, peoples, peoples. And then she winds you up as well, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, just wind, you are a wind up merchant little girl. So yes, we're, uh, tomorrow we're expecting it will thin out a little bit. But, uh, we've given out a few more stickers and uh, hi to Deborah and Peter who came to see us from, uh, they do Dobernar Rescue or Doberman, Doberman Rescue. Doberman, not Doberman. Do Doberman Rescue. Sorry, I missed you. Yes. You was walking that away as I was coming that away. <laughs> from that direction, yes. yes. But, uh, very, very good. We enjoyed it. We had a little chat. Might, I don't know if you're still here tomorrow, but I might catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, so he's walking around, stop, stop and accost her. <laughs> Until then, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Ring the bell, ding, notify, uh, subscribe. subscribe. It's free. It's my favourite price. Subscribe, it's free. We're yes. creeping, we're creeping along, aren't we? Uh, we're getting, like I said, we never started this to get to a thousand. I didn't tell. Oh. Don't, no! No! Oh, God's <laughs> sake. I'm going to have to show you this. I'm going to have to, I'll leave it running, but I'll show you this. We have, ah, uh, hello. Yes, we have our rain blocker tent and Big Dog has just decided he needs to go out for a pee. So, so, he's, so he's just gone, gone through, through it. Gone through the tent. No. He's not coming back. No, he won't. Come on, Big Dog. He's gone through the tent so he can pee against the fence post. Right. Hey. On that note. Hey. You, get, you went out that way. You come, come on. Back. Come on. Come on. You come back this Raxy. way. Come on. You went through it. I'm not going back. Oi. What do you do? Oh, you what went do you through do? that. Come on, you great lardy ass. <laughs> You're not going to, are you? No. All right, I'll undo him and take him round. Right. Dogs, you got to love them. <sighs> Until the next time. Entity all of their own. Bye. Be safe. <laughs> Sharing stories, it's what we do. Laughter filling the air, true. With the open sky so blue.